the country from the Indians. It's a question of one group wants what the other group has. The white man has built this country. The Negroes want it. The white man is not about to share it, as you're finding out everywhere. Every time the Negroes move in, the black man, I mean, the black man moves in, the white man moves out. Again, as Malcolm X said, the, white, the black man is finding this out, and the only solution to his problem is to begin to push harder and harder, because he's never going to get it voluntarily. Is Under it, your is proposals. It, is, it, is it that he wants to take over, or is it that he wants the right to be left alone? Who, the Negro? I wouldn't call it being left alone. He's shooting firemen and shooting policemen. Well, there's, a Negro right. Right. Mr. Look, there's a Negro that's directly across the street from me, two doors away, and this man doesn't go around shooting at people. or losing. Not yet. Well, yeah. Mr. Rockwell, I'm sure he doesn't think that I listen, intend all over the country I went around preaching that we were going to have riots and violence and we would hear about black power. People said, oh, you're a hate monger. The Negroes are only full of love and they want to mix. Now they're shooting policemen, shooting firemen, they want to kill people, and they're doing exactly what I predicted. Now I'm telling you we're coming to race war. It's going to be a question of us or the Indians, and this time the Indians are black. All right, Mr. Rockwell, where do you find in our Bill of Rights, where do you find in our Constitution any, uh, any differentiation among peoples of this country. Well, for instance, in the Constitution, Article 1, Section 2, I believe it is, states that black people in the, in the states will be counted as four-fifths of a person. Have you ever heard of the Civil War? Well, certainly I heard of the Civil War. I did uh, run into that from time to time. But the fact remains, the founding fathers of this country put into the Constitution that black people were four-fifths of a person. Or maybe it was three-fifths, and Mr. Carmichael is again agreeing with three -fifths. me. Three-fifths? Three-fifths. It do was you think the that founders this, of this country were racist. Do you think this country is built on racism? Of course. On whose side? On my side. Thank you. Now, you're beginning to be a racist on your side, but power. you won't admit I, it yet. Power. Let me ask you. black power. Does that mean racism? Certainly it means racism. How does it mean racism? Because you, when you have black power, it means the whites in those areas will not have any power. Do you You're believe distinguishing it? on the basis of blackness, not on the basis of performance. Now, how are we exploited in the communities in which we live? Mr. Carmichael, I will agree you were exploited. I agree you were brought over here as slaves, which is disgraceful. I agree that you have been exploited for four or three hundred years or whatever you say. That does not give you the right to shoot at white policemen and white firemen. It does not give you the right to take anything away from me by force. And is you won't do it. taking anything away from you by force? You haven't yet. And you'll have a harder time than from some of the white do people. You live, do you live in the black ghettos? No, sir, but when I go, if I, well, for instance, like right now, I am planning to walk through Harlem and make a walk through Harlem, and I am told by everybody this is impossible. White people can't walk on their own streets. In Washington, D.C., the police pick people up after dark who walk on the streets of our nation's capital. They say, Did you ever consider why this might have come to pass? Sure, because the Negroes are going crazy and attacking people. Did you ever think that it might be due uh, in part to the condition of the Negro through these 200 odd years? Well, this may be. The Indians have been under the same conditions, but I haven't had may any Indian something? massacres recently. Do you, do you have any democratic beliefs with a small d? It depends on what you call Democrat. I'm not going to be any kind of a Democrat like the Democrats who were brought about I'm not, the situation I'm in the country in Vietnam with the Negroes. I'm not talking about the political party. I'm saying, for example, how do you justify breaking up meetings uh, that others are holding when you yourself uh, continually want to be heard. How I, do you justify that? I justify that? it this way. Whenever anybody stands up in this country and preaches treason to my country, as is going on all the time, when they carry Viet Cong flags while our young men in the, out in Viet Cong, Vietnam are being shot by these people, I consider that treason. And I will pull down every communist flag, as I have been doing, that I find and break them up. I think it's treason, and it ought to be prosecuted by our government. If it isn't, I'm going to do the best I can. But you've broken up civil rights rallies. Only when we have had communists. We don't break How up. Do, who is defining this? Is well, uh, the mayor of Chicago has said that there are some in the, in the civil rights movement. Mr. King, uh, there's a lot of people, the police commissioner, and people are saying that there are communists in this movement, and there I are. The mayor of our city said that there were some outside influences. I don't think he ever specified any uh, party at all. Am I right, John? You I'm sure that? he did not, but even more basic than that, many people, white Christians as you label them, share the distaste, perhaps, merit aside for the moment, of some of the demonstrations relative to Vietnam, as an example that you object to. Object to? I but, stop But why would you have to, with the name that you call yourself, the American Nazi Party, and the appropriate that is attached to that word historically, believe that Americans would support you in opposition as their leader in this. It's, it's because Adolf Hitler said the recently white race a national, is a mess. Recently, a national magazine has, has called you, perhaps, and you saw it because you were featured in it, perhaps the most universally detested public figure in America today. Let me, let me even the Ku Klux Klan is denounced. Before you continue, let me say this. Malcolm X, I heard the same thing about him. I knew that man shook his hand and admired him. I, again, I thought we'd face each other over guns someday, but he was a great man black as he was. 
Everywhere I went in America, I heard that all the Negroes hated Malcolm X. Everybody hated Malcolm X. But I found out the Negroes truthfully liked Malcolm X. They admired him. They admire the Muslims. It's the same with the white people right now. All our pseudo-leaders, the liberals and the conservatives, are saying everybody hates George Lincoln Rockwell. Go out in the street, as I just did today. I met a policeman. And I'm not going to give any names or situations, but the policeman wound up saying, would you like to borrow my gun? The cops are forced, the firemen are forced, the white people are fed up with being pushed by Negroes, and when they get pushed enough, they're going to look for me, a guy like me, just as the Negroes are getting a guy like him fine. Why don't you put your name on a ballot somewhere? If you I did. Sincerely, and how did you make out? I got 1% of the vote well, in Virginia. Then, then, then how can you say that people share your views? Because in Virginia, I found out after the election, the people figured that if they elected me governor, that there would be a war the next morning with the federal government, and there might very well be, and I can see how they might have felt that maybe it's not time yet. But you just let this continue a few more years. Let Mr. Carmichael keep up the work he's doing to recruit people for me, and I'll show you how I'll get elected. Uh, Mr. Rockwell, who pays your bills? What, what, where is your support coming from? We have almost none. Little people. The tiny well, what uh, do you workers. Do, what is your work? I'm doing it right now. Are you paid by the American Nazi Party? I draw enough money to be able to survive. And uh, I might say it's very, very minute. It's a matter of, uh, well, we're eating rabbits that we catch right now at headquarters. You still and the have shoes a... I have on are $1.29 a pair from Drug Fair in Washington. Do you still have your own army? We don't still have it. We're going to form it. We're right now forming the White Guard. So when Mr. Carmichael's uh, crew starts riding with their rioters and cars and busting into white neighborhoods, we're going to shoot them if they try to attack any white people. Let me just ask uh, Mr. Carmichael, philosophically, the positions that he explains so vigorously here, and at least that he doesn't attempt to hide, which let's assume for a moment that others share his views but are afraid to speak them. Maybe you think there are. What does it do to you inside? What does it do to your movement, Second, Well, in the first place, it seems to me that he's speaking for himself. He's not speaking for SNCC. Uh, I should you say not. To speak. Uh, I don't think that black people are trying to shoot white people. They're trying to move the barricades the white people have put up. They want to stop the exploitation and the oppression. Now, well, that's all. But if Mr. Rockwell feels that he's being oppressed and being exploited by black people, that they take advantage of him, then I think he would be justified. But I don't think he's being exploited or oppressed by black people. Mr. Carmichael, Malcolm X used to say, and he was very right, that lots of other people have been oppressed in this country. And I agree, you have been oppressed. And the remedy for it is not to have demonstrations and raise the devil and have sit-ins and crawl-ins and die-ins and so forth, as Malcolm X used to say. The Jews, for instance, were oppressed, and they went out and bought up everything and owned almost everything. Now, this is the thing that the Negroes should have done a long time ago. Perhaps you're advocating that now, and if, if so, even though I oppose you and your group, I'm for your tactics, for your own group. This is what should be done. In other words, an, an outfit which is oppressed, just like the pilgrims were oppressed, they went to another country and they built their own. Now, if you Negroes wanted to do that, I would even be willing so far as to give you a piece of America, specifically Miami Beach and Brooklyn, and say, see how you can do. Mr. Car Mr. Carmichael, I'd like to return just a moment. It is this kind of identification with the nationalist movement that I think is a danger to your movement. Oh, I agree. I think that, that uh, uh, for example, very thoughtful commentators have, have indicated that they believe the black uh, nationalists are taking over imp important positions in, uh, I'm thinking of uh, Floyd McKissick and Cora Roy Ennis, uh, who is an avowed black nationalist. Uh, how can this help you at all? In well, let's see, first of all, Mr. Ennis says that, and Mr. McKissick is saying, that we want the right to politically and economically control the communities in which we live. You have, haven't you indicated that you've abandoned the NAACP, that uh, you said that they won't go along, it's too bad, and this is the same NAACP when did you see me say that? that has put up bond money. When did you see me say that? And make sure your facts are correct. Now, if you're quoting a newspaper reporter, you quote him. But don't put words in my mouth that the newspaper... Well, I didn't hear you say it. Okay, well then... You never did separate that. yourself from the NAACP or any Negro organization. First of all, I will never publicly debate before a white audience or white people the tactics of another black well, Mr. Carmichael, if I, I may, please, at this point, we're well, separating it from very Bob, We'll yeah. stop, if we may, for a very brief word, and we'll be right back. Forgetting the present use of the term black power, isn't historically true in our recent history that the Italians, the Polish, the Irish, 